Let me introduce a reward point management plugin for WooCommerce. This plugin allows customers to store their money in a digital wallet. The main functions are purchasing products from the store, cashback in customer's wallet account, sending and receiving wallet amount to other user, and so on. Let's get started. Go to the plugin menu, press Add New button. Search for Terra Wallet. Install and activate Terra Wallet for WooCommerce. Let's go to the Terra Wallet plugin menu. It shows the balance status of all registered members. I installed the plugin before making this video and deleted it after testing. As you can see, even though the plugin was deleted, the members' balance were not deleted. As administrator, let me charge 1 million balance to user 2. Click the settings icon, and enter 1 million in the amount and save it. After saving, you can see that 1 million balance for user 2. When you need to reduce a member's balance. In the second type option, change credit to debit. The admin user's balance is reduced by 30,000. You can trace the balance history by clicking the eye icon next to the settings. Go to the action menu. There is a function to set whether balances are automatically paid when some action occurs. Sign up, WooCommerce product review, daily visit, and referrals. Then, let me test a member get 1000 balance when signing up. Select sign up. Check the checkbox. Enter 1000 in amount and save it. Sign up as a user for Login as an administrator. User 4 has been added and 1000 balance have been received. WooCommerce product review, daily visit, and referrals are set in the same way. Go to WooCommerce settings. Press payment tab. Change the wallet payment option to on. Let me log in a user account and check the balance. Go to the account menu and click my wallet tab. Customers can top up balance here or transfer balance to other user. As you can see, this user have 1 million balance. Let me buy a product price 500,001 with 1 million balance. Select Wallet Payment at the checkout step. It shows that there are currently 1 million balance. The payment has been completed successfully. Check the balance, there are now 500,000 left. To top up balance, press the Wallet Top Up button. Let me charge 100,000. Click Add button, it moves to the payment step. After completing the payment, added 100,000 balance increased. The balance have increased to 600,000. We can set a minimum top up amount. Go to General under Settings. Let's change the minimum amount to 200,000. When we try to top up 100,000, as you can see, an error notification shows the minimum amount is 200,000. Let me send my balance to other user. Click Wallet Transfer button. Enter the amount to send, click the transfer button. After sending, the balance are reduced by the amount sent. Let me log in as the recipient account. 
You can see that 100,000 balance have been topped up, if you want to disable the balance transfer function. Uncheck and save allow wallet transfer. Let me explain the cashback options in the credit options tab. Check the cashback reward program. Detailed options are shown as a slide down. It returns a certain percentage of the payment as balance when customer purchase some products. Enter one for cashback amount. Then customer get 1% of the payment in balance. Enter 30,000 in the minimum card amount. Balance will be awarded when the card amount is more than 30,000. Save it. Currently, user 2 has 500,000 balance. Log in as user 2 and purchase a product price 300,000. I bought 300,000 with balance, so I have 200,000 balance now. 1% of 300,000 is 3,000. I will be get 3,000 as cash back in my balance. Finally, my balance should be 203,000. Current process cash back option is paid as soon as a payment is completed. With this option, if the order is cancelled, the administrator must reduce the customer's balance manually. To avoid this issue, you can change the option, pay balance only after the order is completed. You just need to delete processing. Let me show you how it works. Let me place an order with 20,000 less than the minimum payment. In this case, Balance is not awarded because both constraints, order completion and minimum amount, are violated. Let's change the state from processing to complete. Balance is not paid even though the process is completed. Because the minimum payment amount is 30,000. Let me change the minimum payment amount to 10,000 and order the same product again. The balance was 183,000. I used 20,000 for purchase, so balance will be 163,000. I order the same product. When the order status is completed, expected balance is 163,200. Change the order status to complete. It is 163,200 as we expected. All options work well. The payment gateway charge option is, when customers purchase balance, customer pays a payment gateway commission fee. Let's test it by setting it to 10%. Login as user 2. Current balance is 100,000. Let me buy 300,000 with credit card. Let's check the balance after payment, 270,000 balance added, as 90% of 300,000. Final balance is 370,000 balance. 